Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shell Craft One and my old barn door. And we are back with um, playing in our ring binder journal. And um, we're almost at the end of our pages. And then we gotta do our inside covers and decorate the spine. So um, this is the page that we did last time. And I like how it turned out. It's very sturdy now. That's not going anywhere at all now. And it's super cute. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, so I just want to put, because I love this, I think this is so adorable. And I just want to put it on the page here. So I know we're not supposed to be adding a whole lot more stuff because we are quite full. <laughs> um, but I do want to add this here. Oh my goodness, I can't get this open. Okay, so we're just going to add it with a small paper clip. Okay. Like this. And whoever gets this journal, you might have to take pages out so that you can journal in it or whatever, but you're going to love it. I think you I think you will love it. I hope you love it as much as I love it because I love this journal. Okay. So this one is an original, very vintage um ledger page. I believe this is from the 1920s. And then we have this cute cowboy hat and rope memo page. We'll leave that like it is. Um, trying to decide if I want to put anything on the back of it. Gracie, are you okay, Papa? Goodness! Are you choking? Sorry, I had to check on the dog. She's coughing. Poor baby. Alright, so maybe... Um, I'm trying to decide if I want something on this page. I think I want to just leave it. Isn't he cool? I love him. And then the very last page is kind of plain. And I have saved this and hoarded this little piece because I think it's gorgeous. It's very old. It's very vintage. And I thought about putting it as a pocket right here, but I just don't think it's going to work. So, um, we might use it as a pocket on one of the inside covers. Um, so just, I'm, I'm trying to hold this very closely so that I don't forget to use it because I love it and I want to use it. Um, however, let's see. You know what I think I want to do? I have this little chicken card. So maybe we could clip him back here. Since this page is so plain, maybe we could put him right here. Let's just use a paper clip and do that. Because I wanted whoever gets this journal to have. And you know what? Let's do it to where let's open this and run the paper cl clip through that way. And maybe we even want to put a piece of fabric on the paper clip. What do we have? I have some strips of fabric here. Um, I don't think that would be big enough. That's not going to be big enough. Ooh, this one won't be big enough. Let's do this one. We'll cut it in half. Okay, I'm just going to turn this to where I can get to it good. Alright. Well, if I can get my big fat fingers in there, we'll be doing good. <laughs> okay. All right, push that on down. And then we have a pretty little paper clip. There we go. Alrighty. Get these little pieces out of here. Okay, y'all. We have finished the pages in our journal. Let's close it. <laughs> 
and see how fat we made it. This is where I run into problems because I always get them entirely too fat. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yep. She's fat. She is fat, but I love how the stuff pokes out the top. Oh, wait. I put that in there for a reason. Okay, but I do love how all of this kind of pokes, peeks out the top, and then all of this peeks out the side, and then you even have the stuff that peeks out on the bottom. So, so pretty. All right, let's go revisit this page and see what, um, oh, I needed to coffee dye these pages. But you know what? I think they're fine. I think I'm just going to leave them the way they are because I like them. I don't think they have to be coffee dyed. So I think we're good on that. All right. So now we need to work on our inside covers. So for the inside cover of this, I usually like to just use like some really pretty paper. Um, and then I'll make like a pocket or something inside. So let me find some paper and see what we want to put on the inside of our journal. So hang on for me. Okay, so now I have to decide because I love this piece. Um, and I mean, look how pretty this will be. Won't that be pretty in there? And it'll look good up against the red, white, and blue. But then, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Okay, um, but then I love, 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 now this is a very old paper pack, but I love this paper pack. I mean, you can use it for so much, but this piece here, wouldn't that be so pretty with the cherries in there? But then, but wait, there's more. So I have this paper pack, it's called the Blue Barn, and uh, this is one of my most favorite paper packs from Hobby Lobby. I love this paper pack. And so I have the cows, which, those don't excite me as much as the other pages do so far, so. And then I have the roosters, but that doesn't excite me as much as the other two. And then, so I have the blue, the blue roses would be really pretty. The red pigs. I love the red pigs. And then this blue is very pretty as well. And then I love this with the cherries. I'm not sure if that's a cherry or a tomato. One of the two. So I'm having a dilemma here. However, I do think I think this one would look really pretty. As the front cover. And it'll look good with the red, white, and blue. So I think this is the one we're gonna use. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with this. Where are we on our time? Okay, we're good. Okay. So what I need to do is kind of I'm gonna turn the book sideways a little bit. And I think I would like to have this portion included. I just like the look of that. So I am just going to turn this over and mark a line where I need to cut. I have a pen somewhere. Here we go. Okay. So we're just going to mark a line, maybe, there we go, and get the pen going. Okay, so we'll mark a line there, bring my trimmer over. Scrap there. Okay. Yeah. 
I like that. I think that's pretty. Okay. So we're just going to put this bad boy down. I love this. Okay. Alright. So I'm trying to decide... I think my glue will stick to this. I just want to put a little bit of it down just to see. So, excuse my reach. This is just Aline's Tacky Glue. I'm going to get a drink of coffee. I've had this forever. And we'll get us a um, brush. Okay. And I'm just going to dip my brush in. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the glue on there and kind of see if I think it's reacting the way I want it to react. And I think it is. I think we're good. So I'm just going to keep adding my glue. Now, you can use Mod Podge for this. I just have a tendency to use the Aline's because it's a little bit thicker of a glue and in my mind's eye it's a better hold. It's probably not, but it's just, I just like it better, so I use it. So just so you know, now I'm not going to go all the way across with this glue because I have my fan on and this glue will start drying a lot faster than normal because I'm a hot flasher. <laughs> so I'm just going to do little pieces at a time. Okay, and I'm going to put it really good on the um, on the fabric part so that my paper will stick really well to the fabric. And it, it takes a little bit longer to dry when I do it like this, but I'm okay with that because at least I know. It's on there and it's not going anywhere. So it's very secure. Okay. So I'm going to keep going this way with it. And if it starts getting too thick on me, sometimes it does, I'll just dip my paintbrush over here into my little water jug and that way it'll thin it out a little better and it spreads a little easier for me. Okay. I really probably went a little too far with that, but that's okay. I want to kind of get those little fuzzy pieces out. I wipe those off. Okay, so now I am ready to line this up. And I tend to, um, when I line it up, I tend to push the paper up under my binder a little bit, if I can, if I've got enough room. Okay, paper, you weren't supposed to lay down in that glue yet. If I've got enough room on the edge over here. Okay, so I'm going to push it underneath that binder just a little bit, like the center piece, um, because you do have room to do that. Okay, and so now I'm just going to take my little gift card here and start rubbing it in the glue and this helps to get the bubbles out and it helps to make the creases where the creases need to be so that when you bend it your paper doesn't tear and then I'll take my bone folder and kind of take it down into those creases so that it lays as well as it's gonna be as, as well as it can Okay, and then we've got this little crease here, so we're going to rub our bone folder into that little crease. Okay, and then I'm just going to start rubbing this down, and as I'm rubbing, I'm feeling to make sure I don't have any air bubbles, and if I do, I'll bring my card in.
and you're gonna get a few bubbles as the glue starts drying I actually like it uh, to do that um, because to me it just gives it a more vintage used and grungy look there's something in there what is that you need to make me pull my whole paper up oh it's a uh, string okay all right, here we go. Oh, that's what it is. It's the fabric. Okay, Diane. All right, here we go. Okay. And then I'm going to pull this back. And I'm going to grab my brush again. And finish the gluing this end and if you get more on this side of the fabric than you need you're okay because um, I'm sorry y'all can't even see what in the world I'm doing <laughs> I apologize um, It'll dry clear, so you don't have to worry about the glue showing. That was the whole point I was trying to make. Okay. Alright, so we got good coverage on that. I'm going to scoot that back a little bit, because if I don't, I'm going to spill it everywhere, and then I'm going to have a mess on my desk. Okay. that on down in and then I'm just going to take my baby wipe and just wipe down that very edge so that there's not so much excess glue there okay and we're going to let this dry for a minute Another thing I love about putting the pattern papers is, even if it bubbles a little bit, you really you really can't see it all that much. Oh my goodness, a little net bug. Stop it. <laughs> and so I think I might even put a little piece of lace right here. I don't know yet. Um, so let's go to the back cover while this one dries. I have a piece of wax paper somewhere. Well, I think we're okay because there's no glue on the outside of that. So, all right. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's go to our back cover. Now, some people may want to take all the pages out and do this, or you may want to do this before you, you know, do your journal. I, I do that sometimes, but I just wasn't inspired this time, so I didn't know what I wanted to put on the inside, so I waited till I finished the journal. Whatever works best for you, this is working for me today. <laughs> okay. So, I think we're going to use the cherry page on this one. So, let me just grab it. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then we're going to have to measure this upside down because... Okay, I've got something in there. Hang on a second. Okay, y'all don't whoop me, but I glued this on and didn't turn the camera on. So, now we have our back cover. And you can see a few bubbles, and I'm okay with that, honestly. I don't care um, if there's... And a lot of it's not bubbles. Like this right here, you know, this is just from the fabric that's underneath. So, I'm okay with that. So, now... Remember this piece? Yeah, that's gonna be the pocket back here. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Okay, so now I gotta figure out which is the front and which is the back of it. I never can figure that out. I don't think it matters. Okay, so we're gonna put this here like this. I'm trying to decide if I wanna put something at the top. 
but I don't think I do. I think we're good with it. Okay. So, just to warn you, this video might be a little bit longer of a video because I am going to try and finish this journal in this video, if possible. Might not get to, but I'm going to try. Alright, so we're just going to put our fabric tack glue on the very edge of our pocket. And this is such a pretty piece of lace. Very vintage. I know I've promised y'all farm journal kits, and I'm going to make some, okay? But what I might do is do on my fall my Halloween journals first, and then make the farm ring binder kits. I don't know yet for sure, so. And by the time you see this video, I may have already decided because I have several videos in front of this one, and, um, so I don't know where I will be at um, on that by the time y'all see this video. So I might already have them. Who knows? But I do plan on going to the lake because I promised my girl I would take her. Her and the babies. And she's like, Mom, the end of the summer, we have to go. So promised her so I have to keep my promise so by the time you see this video I will probably either already be at the lake or already been and come back um, but what I plan to do is take my consignment booth journals with me to the lake and video them from there hopefully I'm hoping that's how it works out that I can do that all right so we have our pocket in the back here and I think I want to put one of these doilies on. This is like those doilies that I put on the the beautiful belly band that's in here. These doilies are 100 years old, y'all. They came off of a quilt that was found in an attic. Um, I got these from my friend Sarah. She's me and my son Treasures. And she sent them to me. And she told me the other day that they are 100 year old, um, not doilies, um, yo-yos. Um, they were from a quilt that was a yo-yo quilt. And so I think I would like to put one of these. And I think I like this one. I like the colors of this one. So I think I would like to put one of these on this little pocket here. Hanging on a bulb pin. If I still have a bulb pin. Um, I think I do have one somewhere. Here we go. Okay, so I just kind of want to pin it to this pocket. Maybe we should put a bead on it too. Let's put a bead on here. I think I have some stray beads running around on this little tray here. Let's see what we have. Okay, let's put these beads. Um, okay, so we'll do that one, and that one, whoops, don't, oh no, he's gone, oh well, I don't think I have any more stray beads on here, there's one, put him on there, nope, He's not going to fit. Okay, I think we're good. Alright. And then we'll put our yo-yo on. And just dangle him off the pocket. And he's pretty. Okay. So in this back pocket, I'm going to put some stuff for whoever gets the journal. Um, I think I have yeah, a little thank you card here. So I'll go ahead and put this in here. This is from my um, 
vintage shabby journal kit. So we'll put that in there. All right, and then we're gonna go put us a pocket in here in the front. And I already know what kind of pocket I wanna use in the front of this. Hang on and let me grab it. Ain't this so pretty? I love this. It's a very, very old, old quilt. And I think what I'd like to do, I want it to hang out of the bottom down here. I want a little bit hanging out of the bottom and I want a little bit of this hanging off the side. So I think what I want to do, I need to find my fold because I don't want to go any further than that. And I think I want to do a diagonal cut all the way up to the corner here. So I need to cut from here to here. So here we go. This makes me nervous because this is beautiful and gosh, I don't want to mess it up. Okay. If it wasn't already cut, I wouldn't cut this quilt. I would I would put this quilt on my bed. Okay. Need to find my corner over here. So sorry for my reach, but I just kind of have to put my feelers in so I know where I'm going over here. And I'll probably have to trim that up a little. Okay. I think that's going to be really pretty on there. All right, let's see. This is a very, very old, old quilt. Okay, so let me see how far I want it hanging out. Let's see. I think that's good. If we take it to there. Okay. Now I need to decide what I'm going to put on the edge. Do I want lace on the edge, maybe? Maybe I want a piece of lace here. Let's see. What do we have? No, that takes away from the quilt. Oh, I think this might work perfectly. What y'all think? I think that will be perfect. Yep, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put this on the edge. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm not even paying attention. There. Sorry. So I'm just going to take my fabric tack along the edge of this quill piece. Like that. Let that dry a little. And I think what I need to do before I continue with that is put my fabric to go ahead and glue my quilt piece on my pocket so let's go ahead and do that and I want to put a pretty good amount of the fabric tack because I want to be able I want to feel like it's good and secure I don't want to feel like it's gonna come off okay all right so we're gonna press that into that fabric tack there this piece over and we're going to go all the way up and I like putting it on the edge of the paper because I know that that fabric tack is going to not just hold down the pocket but it'll hold that fabric down I mean that paper down too okay Okay. 
press that in real good. Okay. And then we can finish adding our lace to the edge. Went a little crooked. Okay, let's see. All the way to the edge. There we go. Just like that. Okay. All right, we're gonna let that dry for just a minute. Hang on. Okay, so we're dry now, and then we're gonna add some goodies to the pocket. And this is a sweet, sweet envelope that my friend Gina Ann made for me a long time ago, and I've hoarded it forever, and I just think it's too pretty not to share. So I've done some um, alterations. I've added a couple of things to it, and, um, and then I've added some goodies in there for whoever gets the journal. Isn't that beautiful? She did such a wonderful job. She worked so hard on this. So this is a very special piece that I'm adding in here. So let me see if I can add it this way where you can see the little girl and her pig. There we go. And then I have this piece, which I absolutely love. Um, I love, love, love all of the cross stitch. And inside it, you have this beautiful, very old, because it's coming apart. I'm trying to open it without ripping it more. Okay, let's see. All right, here we go. Here we go, and I won't be able to fit the whole thing in, but look at how stinking pretty this is. These are iron-ons, so you transfer them using a hot iron. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with these. So, um, those go in the journal, and I love the envelope, so you can actually use all of this in your journal. Whoever gets the journal, and after this video, this journal... Um, will have been in the shop. It may have already sold. I don't know. We shall see. But as soon as I finish this video, um, I'm going to be taking pictures of all of the journals and listing them all. And I'll do um, a flip through video of them. Um, so we'll put that and that in there. And I think that's going to be plenty to stuff that pocket. So the last thing we have to do is our spine. So I'm going to go ahead and close our journal. Well, we have to do the spine, and then we have to put our dangles on the tabs. So I won't make you watch me put the dangles. <laughs> oh, I need to take this out now that I don't need that book page open. All right, so um, on the spine, I have these really, really pretty doily pieces. Or um, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know if it was a tablecloth or what. Um, but we're just going to cut a strip out. Hang on, I'm not going to make you watch me cut doilies. <laughs> or, yeah, doilies. Okay, so I've got our strip cut. And I want to line the spine of the journal with these doilies. 
Won't that be pretty? I think that will be super cute. So, let me... You know what? I'm not even going to do this on video. You're going to see. You, you see what I'm planning on doing. And so, I think we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Actually, I'll put this on. Well, hang on. Let me put it on real quick. Okay. I have the doily on the spine. And I think it turned out really pretty. I love how that looks. Hopefully, y'all like it too. And the last thing we have to do is put our dangles on. So I have, um, I have some old keys somewhere. Oh my goodness, there's no telling. Oh, I know where I put them. Hang on, y'all. Sorry. Okay. Have some keys and then some of these keys we have our farm um, dangle journals that I did uh, the farm charms if y'all remember these um, and then we have bulb pins and then we have oh lord I'm about to make a mess <laughs> we have these dangles and then we have some rooster charms so we're gonna go through real quick and just add some dangles here and there to the edge of our journal I'm just gonna open it up like this Let me see if y'all can see what I'm doing okay so we're just gonna start adding some pretties to our journal so um, I'm gonna add one of these old keys because for, it, it reminds me of um, like an old truck and so I want to add one of these. So we're just going to pull this one off. Um, I'll eventually learn how to rust these because I'd love to have them rusted. But for now, we're just going to add them with a bulb pen. And let's add this one. generally like to add them on the tabs and the laces that come off the journal so let's just add this piece here so we're just gonna pin it on so we have the old truck key if we can get it through there there we go anything to I think we're okay you know what I think I do want to add something to this and I know what I want to add to this I have this safety pin whoops, that I made with the little beads on it so let's put that on here get it on there there we go okay all right so put that there okay so we got a dangle there and our key dangle there so let's go ahead and flip those pages um do we want so let's put something hanging off of this one um let's do let's do our rooster charm It would be cute to rust some of these, wouldn't it? Okay. Um, oh, we could add him to a safety pin. Let's add him to a safety pin. I have a big safety pin in here. Let's see if it's too big for this one. Yeah, it's too big for that one. Let's see what else we have. Hopefully, y'all are not seeing the top of my hair. <laughs> okay. Nope, not that one. Oh, shoot. I'm dropping things. 
Dropping things everywhere. These are my no coil safety pins. I have a plan for those, so I don't want to use those up right now. Okay, I dropped more than one out. Darn it all. Okay, let's see. A rusty safety pin. Let's see if we can get it to go through this. I don't know if we can, but we're going to try. Okay. Alright, so when I do these, I just kind of push it through a little. And then I put my dangle. Maybe we need to put this on a. Yep, I'm gonna put. Um, I'm gonna put it on a jump ring. It'll make life easier. Let's see. I have a jump ring and my pliers. It's a little bit tedious. Okay, Bubba. He's like, nope. I'm not going on there. <laughs> oh, but yes, you are. Little rooster. Okay, let's try again. All right. Hook him through. I should be using my other pliers. I'm just not used to these pliers, so they kind of give me a little bit of a hard time. Okay, make sure he's going to stay. Okay, so there's our rooster on that one. And then let's put one on this piece of lace here. Okay, let's put one of these pretties on here. Let's do the farmer's wife on here. So let's... Um, Let's do this one on a bulb pin. Okay. So it can dangle. What pup up? You can't get in mama's lap right now. So sorry. Do you need to go potty? Okay. We have to pause. Gracie needs to go potty. One second. Okay, she finished. <laughs> sorry about that. All right, but it gave me a chance to pick out a few things to use. So I'm going to scoot some of this out of the way. So we got the farmer's wife on there. Okay, and then we have this. But we don't need a dang on everything, so let's see. I do want to put one on here. And I think on this one, let's put one of these pretty beads. That'll be pretty with the little, oh, but you know what? It's already got a rose on there. Let's do, do something different. Let's do this one. Okay. So we'll put that on there with a the bull pin. here let's put one down at the bottom sort of let's put this pretty um, rose one blingy rose one put this one on with a bulb pin since I'm out of safety pins that I can use okay put that one on there very pretty and then we have 
this, but it's got the button, so we really don't need a dangle on that one. We have this piece, and let's put um, our home pickling one on there. Nope. Let's put this one with the red, with the flower. My goodness, if I can hold on to it. Okay. So we'll put that kind of in the center so it can dangle off. Okay. And then let's put one on here. I am filling this up with dangles. And I'm okay with that. Let's do this one with the pretty blue and brown because it kind of goes with that on the lace there. Okay. Just run, the, run that through there. Okay. Next we have this lace. Let's put a big key on this lace. Because I like it. I'm going to put him kind of in the center. And he has plenty of room to dangle. Okay, let's see what else. We have this one last tab right here and I think I want to put this old McDonald had a farm dangle on it I just think that'll be super cute and I don't think we're gonna need this long of a this chain so I'm gonna take this off I'm gonna put a big jump ring on it I mean, how stinking cute is this? My sweet friend Rhonda made these. Can y'all see that? It's Old McDonald's Had a Farm, the little golden book. So stinking adorable. All right, so. Let me just get a clothespin and hold my book pages up for a second. Okay. So we're going to dangle this one right here. Maybe. There we go. And there she is. So stinking cute. I love that so much. Okay. So I think, y'all, I think our journal's finished. Let's just take a peek real quick. And see what she looks like. I know this was a little bit longer of a video. I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to go ahead and finish it in this one last video so that, you know, we didn't have to do another video. So this is her and we will do a flip through, um, or I will do a flip through um, when I get ready to put, put them in the shop and have them all ready. So look at all the sweet little dangles hanging off of there. So she's done. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, we can take that off now. How pretty. I love her. I love her very much. So, all right. So that is the end of our Farm Ring Binder series. Um, thank you all so much. If you've hung in here with me, I appreciate you watching. And I hope you crafted along and made a beautiful ring binder for yourself or for someone that you love. Hope you enjoyed the series. Um, and y'all give me some input if you think the series was too long or whatever, and I can use that for future reference. So thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all have a great day. Big hugs.